Today's video is going to be another unboxing of Hermes's leather goods and it's going to be a woman's handbag. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a week and I miss talking to you guys. Today we're going to be reviewing the really cute and special Hermes Picotin in the size 22. So make sure you watch the video to the end and also subscribe to our channel. This bag, it is not my personal property. I borrowed it from a friend. You know, there are many, many different bag silhouettes from Hermes and Picotin being one of them that is my personal favorite, I'm just really Really happy to be able to get this little baby on hand today to review for you guys. At the meantime, if you have not followed us on social media yet, make sure you follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Over there, you'll be able to help me decide what to make next. And I really value your opinion because I think it's important to make things that others want to see besides things that I want to talk about myself. So if you have not joined us on Instagram yet, make sure you do it. So today I am going to be talking about this very special thing. Personally, I always loved learning the little stories behind every inspiration. The Pickleton lock bag actually came from the horse feeding bag. And after I say that, you probably are like, okay, I can see where that comes from. It has a very squishy and unstructured look, which is what makes this bag ultimately very, very unique. Very slouchy, it's very unstructured. It's kind of cool because Hermes is known for the equestrian heritage and like work and the tools that they invested in so that their leather goods is an extension of some of the inspiration. I also found a little bit more information that I wanted to share with you guys since I am only reviewing one out of the five sizes that Pico 10 actually comes in. So according to Purse Bob, I'm going to insert the information here if you want to check out more. They have a lot more like detailed information on their website. But according to Purse Bob, there are currently five different sizes for the Hermes Picotin lock bag and it starts with size 18 centimeter and then there's 22 and then there's 26 and then it go it kind of goes up from there from what it looks like there's also only just one kind of leather that's being used on the Hermes uh, on the Picotin which is the Clemens leather and speaking of colors it looks like there are 15 colors that's being offered on this particular silhouette which is a good range so there it is guys see the beautiful color here this is like one of the very um, popular neutrals that Hermes makes and the start of today is Dun, 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 dun. This is Miss Pickleton over here. And let's take a deep dive to see what are all the details that this bag entails. First of all, if you can see this bag right now, I am holding it like this because I really wanted to give it a shape. And um, this beautiful bag is made out of one piece of leather. So it's only its nature to kind of be slouchy. So if I were to sit it down, this is kind of the natural state of the bag if you don't put any stuffing in there. There is a strap here at the very end of it. There is the Hermes H lock over here. Okay, so it looks like we won't be able to take the strap out without unlocking this. And look what I see. Ooh, this is so nice. Who would have expect that the bottom of the bag is actually made with the side of a leather? But I think what we're looking for is really in here. Let me see. Yes, it is. Okay, super cool. Now we got the keys and let's open it. The keys unlocked and now we can really, I'm sorry, the lock is unlocked. Now we can take the strap out and then see what's inside. I like how minimalistic and simple this bag really is. And if you look at it, this is really just like the raw side of the leather. Obviously it's treated, but it's really beautiful and slouchy and unstructured. So there you can see the raw side of the leather. And 
and um, on the inside like I already showed you but let me open it up a little bit more you can see that the base of it is really just made with like one really thick piece of leather this is also what ultimately holds shape on the bottom of the bag it's super pretty and like I said all of the luxuries are really all about details now let's talk about the stitching you can see that it has like a contrasted stitching which is pretty common on picotin style this is just the white color stitching and um, in terms of hardware i see i see a few pieces of hardware here this is just a singular one that is holding the strap Over here we have two that is also holding kind of like you know when you put the strap over there's multiple things that you can do you can either close it out like this or you can just put it through and I think if you want to lock the bag the only way to do it is to just lock it up here so this bag is just, you know, naturally a slouchy and very casual type of style. So if you wanted a really like hard sided bag, this is besides the bottom of this bag, this bag is overall very, very soft. And I believe this is like the side of it. This is the front of it because I am just navigating it um, from where the logo is stamped. And this is the other side and yeah we're looking at the same size but now let's take a look at the bottom of the bag because like i said details are really important details tells you everything and you can see that even though it's a very soft slouchy kind of bag it does have four little feet over here for standing and your bag is like miss independent um, when you put things in there it's going to stand itself up and the base is very strong and sturdy. Another perks of having these feet is that, you know, it basically prevents this piece of leather to sink down, basically when there's weight on the inside of the bag. So what do you guys think? Do you think Pickleton is going to be on your wish list for this Christmas? Or is it going to be on your wish list for the upcoming bags that you're going to get for yourself? I definitely think this color and this made is super unique and I think it's so effortlessly chic. Whenever I see my friend carrying, I was just like, that is your bag. It's so elegant and cute. I hope this video is really helpful and if you enjoyed this review, make sure you click the like button right now because it really means a lot. I mean, if you have any other questions that I didn't get to address in the video, right now is the time to type it up in the comment and let me know. Thank you so much again for watching another video on my first luxury. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I can't wait to see you guys on next week's video. So stay tuned and take care. Bye guys!